Yes, welcome to the next project. It's this uh, old Land Rover. It's been standing here for I think 10 years. I started to build it with a Volvo Fossil motor with an automatic gearbox. And it's a uh, Range Rover trailing arms and uh, Volvo Laplander portal axles. So this is uh, really good for driving off-road. Well, I will push it into the workshop and see what I figure out. I will uh, remove the body parts out of it in here because uh, it gets so crowded in the workshop. Well, here you can see the chassis outside, undressed. And uh, I made this one almost finished. But uh, I think I have some issues with the cardan axles here. It was too tight with the exhaust system and everything. That's why I got somewhat bored with this one last time I tried. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a really nice off road vehicle. You can see the distance from the, the ground, it's quite good. And I'm going to rebuild that one to so even make it better. Well, now I'm gonna push it, push it into my workshop and see what I can figure out to do. Well, now the project is in the workshop and I've said it's been standing for 10 years. It's almost more than 15 years because I checked some dates when I bought this Land Rover. And as I said, it's uh, these uh, portal axles from uh, Volvo Laplander and uh, it's rebuilt with uh, trailing arms from Range Rover and uh, in these uh, trailing arms you have a built-in sway bars it's a uh, Volvo B230A motor and uh, the automatic gearbox is uh, B Orion Barner 55 or 71 I don't remember Really, and the uh, transfer gearbox is from the Volvo Bulb, the first edition, 903. And uh, this adapter here is uh, made of, uh, by an expert, so it's uh, it's proper done. I have uh, rebuilt the torpedo wall, torpedo wall. I don't know what you call it in English, uh, with a thick plate. I didn't have that issue with weight before when I was younger. In the rear we have also these uh, Range Rover trailing arms and this is a K-Link and it works very well. And uh, this is a sway bar from a transporter I think it was. kilos 245 kilos that was heavy well the old uh, fixing points for the Volvo Valve transfer gearbox almost uh, fit perfect to the Lada Niva and the electrical motor I just had to make another support from the frame here I don't know if you I, I can't see it but this one, I'm gonna make another here, and then I can fit the electrical motor here. It's 50 centimeters, 49 or something. It's gonna fit perfect here, and then I can use this frame as a support for the motor. Maybe I have to make some uh, cut here to make the cardan axle, it doesn't touch this one, but uh, otherwise, it's almost perfect. 
train and the fixing point for the transfer gearbox from Lana Niva. I will see if it fits. lifted the motor in place and uh, as you can see it sits quite good there have some uh, space between the frame and the fan I will uh, use the old uh, parts that I removed from the frame parts that I removed from the electric rock crawler I will cut this clean and then uh, see if I, how I will make a support from the the frame underneath and around here. Here you can see the uh, brackets for the motor. It's uh, reused from the electric rock crawler. I had to uh, turn the motor a bit so it doesn't collide to the cardan axles. But uh, I think it doesn't matter because it's not good if these uh, cardan axle joints are too straight. So I, I don't think it's matter if it's a bit turn the motor see the battery pack and uh, for now it's uh, two Tesla modules it's uh, 48 volt but uh, the controller and the motor can handle 72 volts I'm gonna put in another Tesla battery model in that one and uh, I will place it here where the motor is supposed to be so I will build a frame so I can just uh, lift it in place it's gonna be I'm gonna use this beam and then I'm gonna just make a, a, a support underneath and then with some uh, flanges so it can fit and then I just tie a strap around it I think that will work out. now I made a small fixture for the battery pack and I will just uh, test, uh, test fit it, the battery pack, before I make any more uh, welding and uh, reinforcements. Well, it will be like that. It uh, maybe looks uh, as it sits a bit high, but uh, the whole frame is very high. And uh, I think. Uh, I don't want to have it in the rear because I want to have uh, uh, this uh, area to put stuff. So uh, I will have it there and it's uh, 75 kilos with all the three Tesla modules. And uh, I think the motor got in a good spot. So I don't think the weight distribution is that bad. Yes, uh, I was not that happy with uh, the placement of the battery box uh, before. I think it got a bit high and also a bit uh, pushed forward. So I remade uh, the support for the battery pack and I moved it uh, backwards as uh, far back as I could to the torpedo wall. And uh, I also uh, lowered it about uh, 30 millimeter, but uh, that the maximum I can lower it because otherwise it will collide with the front axle. This is how it looks like now, and uh, I think this is uh, okay. 
is still quite high. But as I said before, the, the frame is also high. And that's because of these portal axles. But uh, now I can't push it any more backwards. You have the torpedo wall coming here. And you can have a place for feet. And also on the other side it will be brake pedals and, and gas pedals and all that stuff. And I push it a bit to the side because you can see here. This is the vacuum control for the differential diff lock. And uh, that's the one who was uh, colliding before. That's why I could push LF, put it down 30 millimeters. So now it's uh, as tight as it can be. Now the framework for the battery pack is finished. And you can see I made this flanges to keep it in place. I'm not sure if I will... Uh, in, on the torpedo wall I can build some kind of uh, support on the top so I can push it down. And I think I even have to make something with uh, some tensioning system in the front here to keep it down. Otherwise uh, 75 kilos big lump will come flying if I collide with something and I don't think the authorities like that. Well, I'm looking for the best place to put this um, relays and controller and I think I'll put it here and then I must make some kind of uh, enclosure to make it dust, dust protection. And, uh, I think I also must put a fan into that box and try to ventilate it because uh, the controller could get quite hot. Short summary of, of what I've done so far. I got the battery pack in place. I fitted the transfer gearbox for Lada, motor and uh, electronics. I even uh, Test around the motor here, but I have some small accident again. This is the second time I burned this uh, chargery BMS. I have no idea what's causing it and why. But uh, anyway, I run the motor and um, it worked back and forth. And in the next episode, I will fit the cotton axles and also the torpedo wall and then I will fit the, the steering control steering <coughs> and then make a test run and see if this is uh, working with this motor if I have to maybe exchange motor and go for a bigger one I'm sure I'm not sure yet but uh, until next episode thanks for watching stay safe and see you soon bye bye